President-elect Park's first two nominees for high-level positions failed to get through their confirmation hearings earlier this month. Analysts say it may be the process, not the candidates, that is the root of the problem. So, is the confirmation process too intensive or is there another issue at play? Kim Young ji has the answers. The National Assembly has recently come under fire for turning confirmation hearings into a forum for exposing personal information about the nominees. President-elect Park's first choice for Constitutional Court Chief Justice withdrew himself from consideration after corruption allegations came to light during his confirmation hearing. Then the president-elect's prime minister nominee withdrew amidst allegations of real estate speculation and tax evasion before a confirmation hearing for him could even be held. President-elect Park complained that the confirmation process focuses too much on the nominee's ethical qualifications and not enough on their ability to carry out state affairs. An observer says, in comparison, the confirmation process in the U.S. looks more into a nominee's policy vision and ideology. But in the U.S., there is a much uh, tighter focus on how they would lead their independent departments and what they would do and how they've handled it in the past and they try to get this bigger philosophical picture of how they see the role. Some say the Korean confirmation process at the National Assembly, now in its 13th year of practice, has institutional shortcomings. But others disagree. They say the presidential office should conduct a thorough screening of their nominees before submitting a request for confirmation to the parliament. And the process needs to be institutionalized. One way of doing that is to utilize a checklist that the presidential office created back in August 2010 when three of the president's nominees for high level posts failed to get confirmed. The checklist asked 200 detailed questions about the nominee's credit history, mandatory military service, and others. Lawmaker Park kong gun of the Democratic United Party sat on the special committee overseeing the confirmation hearing of Constitutional Court Chief nominee Lee dong Hub late last month. He says he would also like to see this checklist adopted for a more comprehensive vetting process beforehand. As a member of the special committee for E's confirmation hearing, I had to ask some very tough questions about E's personal life and family issues. It wasn't comfortable. But people have certain expectations for what kind of people should assume key government posts. So it's necessary to pick someone who meets those expectations. If the president nominates someone without ethical lapses and carries out a thorough pre-screening, the parliament will be able to focus more on the nominee's ability at their confirmation hearing. In addition to these measures, experts say the lawmakers should avoid turning the confirmation hearings into another stage for partisan bickering. Kim Hyun-ji, Arirang News.